One, two, three. Here we got Sorrell head coach Jim Henry, Dick McConnell, coach of the year. And, and man, this has to really mean a lot to you because obviously Dick McConnell, longtime coach at Saguaro High School, uh, uh, to, to have this honor is, is, is just really an impressive thing for your man, I would imagine, Jim. Uh, absolutely. Um, it, it means a lot. I mean, the Dick McConnell Award has been something that we've been passing on as coaches in, in Southern Arizona for over 20 years. And for Coach McConnell to be my mentor and to take over a program that is such a storied program to, to win the Dick McConnell Award as Coach of the Year definitely does mean a lot um, to, to me and, and to everybody from Saguaro. So what, I, I ask Brian this question all the time. What, what, did, what, did, what did you take away from your time with Coach McConnell? You know, it's funny, when, when I was young and I was just kind of coaching with him, he would he would just talk basketball, and, and it was more about how he ran his program and character and things of that sort. And I didn't understand all of it when I was young, but now that I'm a little more experienced and I've got a little, you know, I've done some things coaching and I've seen some things, I understand kind of how he did things and, and the things that are important to running a good program is kind of what I've tried to do at Saguaro is, is to continue that tradition and, and to do things kind of the way Coach would do them. How do you look back now in this season, getting so close to bringing home that state title? Uh, it stings not to win it, but uh, I'm going to take all the positives from it. Uh, it was an absolute joy. It was such a fun ride. It was such a cool group of guys to coach um, and, and to see the joy on their face as we had all of those wins along the way, that's going to be what I take from it. That's going to be what I remember. Yeah, I mean, uh, to that group, What? Uh, how many of those guys are coming back for next year? Uh, we return quite a few of them. I mean, we, we graduate five seniors, but we do return a lot of our core. We return three starters and a couple of our top guys off of the bench, and so that's definitely going to be key. They're going to have to learn how to carry that torch. Um, our seniors did some amazing things. You know, Nick Pons is going to be incredibly difficult to replace. Uh, he was just a special guy. He kind of became our Swiss Army knife. He could do basically whatever I asked him to do. Um, Julian Yazon and Bryce Marine Bess, those dudes, uh, we talked about it earlier tonight, they would play so hard on defense and, and take pride in defense. And that's something that's kind of lost in basketball now, and it's going to be hard to replace guys who, who played with that toughness and intensity. Well, Jim, congratulations. Uh, any of your guys in that All-Star game coming up? Uh, Nick Pons is playing in the All-Star game, and I'm wondering maybe Bryce is too, um, but I know Nick is going to be in the All-Star game for sure. Congratulations again on a great season and this award. I appreciate it. Thank you.